Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. Uh, this is the first in a series that I hope to do each week. I'm going to call it uh, Champs Week in Review. Uh, so I'm going to cover a lot of stuff that's went on in the game during the week, a bunch of different topics. Uh, so hopefully you'll stick around for it. I'll try and put timestamps in it. I'm also going to put the uh, the chasing series in this one as well. So for those of you that were following the MLC chase for Orton, um, that'll be the last segment in this. So if you're looking for that, stay tuned for that. Uh, so just to, I, I want to cover some fun stuff, uh, stuff that's going on in the Champions community. I also want to say if you have things that you'd like to see in this video that you think are newsworthy for the Champions community, uh, go ahead and DM me that information. Um, this I, I plan on this evolving a lot. I'm not sure where it'll end up, but I think that this is going to be pretty uh, fun for me and hopefully fun for you guys. So I'll be very interested to hear what you have to say. So anyway... Um, this week we had the one, two, three kid, uh, come out. Uh, I got a chance to preview him. I'm going to say, I think he's the best showboat in the game. Um, you can probably argue a couple others might be better. Uh, for my money, I think he's the best showboat in the game. Super fun to play, low charge moves. Um, so pretty cool card release, uh, from Scopely on this one. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, you can check out any of the previews from the content creators. Most of us, uh, to my knowledge, all really enjoyed him and think he's a, a top-tier showboat. At the very least, I would say everyone would say he's a top three. I happen to think he's the best in the game. Um, so that was going on. Uh, we also have the uh, 12 Days of Christmas event, uh, which... Uh, it is kind of hit or miss in my opinion. Um, you can see I have the faction ranking so far at the time I made this video. Um, we got Top Shelf Booty and 1% are, are crushing it. It looks like they're going to be dueling out big time for the, the Gooka reward by the end of the week. Um, so, I mean, if you finish first, it's obviously going to be a great event. It's very, as far as I can tell, mostly very spend heavy. Uh, that being said, there have been a couple pretty uh, grindable events. The one was the the survival one, which was very hard, but it was uh, it had a grind aspect. And the other one was the Andre Blitzes on normal, which was very, very grindy. Um, so uh, it's been a very heavy uh, spend style of event, so it's not been my personal favorite event ever. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I try and get the, the stuff I can get each day, and hopefully by the end we'll get some nice stuff. Now, with that being said, the daily rewards have been awesome for the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, getting a bunch of health packs, and, and as you notice, you get each of the rewards again the next day plus one. So I think the the 12 days rewards have been awesome. So no no complaints at all about the free stuff. I think the free daily stuff giveaway has been really, really good. Um so that's what's kind of going on with the 12 days of Christmas. Um, and then the next thing we had going on um, was the showdown. Again, at the time I'm doing this, there's still some time left on the showdown. You can see about two hours. Uh, here's your top 10 as it stands. Um, Archangel up there in first from top shelf and then a bunch of um, a bunch of grim guys on there. So being dominated by the big players for sure. Um, pretty. So showdown has been a mixed bag for a lot of people. Uh, there's an issue where you can get attacked like eight times in two minutes, and everyone. Uh, some weeks don't don't they they don't run into it. Some weeks they do. Um, but it's an issue that's been bothering a lot of people and making showdown a struggle. So I'm gonna take that aspect out of the showdown and talk about the showdown event itself uh three days of coins was really awesome um the 500k points on the web portal for three days was pretty awesome um really happy that you could get the 45k uh showdown coins so this one was uh if you maxed everything was actually maxable without spending so um you, you probably weren't going to get one, two, three kid. If you maxed it, you probably got about half of his shards, but it was free and it did have seven million coin. Uh, plus, then you had the kid's prize wall where you could pick up another five million coin. So 
if you could max showdown uh, which is is an if uh, there was 12 million coin available um so for me that's a pretty big win from a coin perspective so taking away the fact that sometimes showdown now can be really frustrating with getting attacked a lot i felt like it was a really good event the extra uh 15k coins on the third day and then the extra points on the blog made it uh, maxable free to play uh maxable if you had most of the guys um i maxed it and i didn't have um coal or um one two three kid so it was a pretty maxable showdown or at least very high there is orton shards in there the second to last milestone a uh, decent amount of coin for people so overall i think it was a, a pretty good showdown uh, still bugs to fix in showdown so i'm not saying that but the event itself well you weren't going to get one two three kid you were going to get a bunch of coin and stuff so i'm okay with that i thought it was a pretty solid showdown event uh, some other stuff we had going on this week from the uh, content creators um i gotta i'm gonna say uh gerson uh, he's his computer's still down. I think he's gonna have it back around the 29th was what he was saying um, He's still getting content out uh, But it's much harder for him um, So he's not doing as much as his normal self. So hopefully he'll be back to to full swing starting next month I'm sure he's chomping at the bit to get there um, Big Papa gaming he had his uh, Hanukkah giveaway uh, 12, 12 days, I believe it was, of giveaways, um, or 8 days, sorry, Brian, 8 days of giveaways, and, uh, the final one was the, uh, Goldberg gear, um, Goldberg with his gear, so he had that giveaway going on this week, pretty awesome giveaway, uh, Benny has a giveaway going on right now for a 4-star bronze NWO macho, and he's going to be live on Christmas Eve at 11.30 Eastern Time to do the giveaway. So if you want to enter that, go head over to Benny's channel and check out that video. That's going on this week for Benny. Uh, DJ, this past week, he had a really killer stream. Uh, I am actually I go to uh, most of DJ's streams on Twitch. If you haven't been to one, highly recommend it. Uh, his Friday night ones in particular are Friday night party streams. They get pretty crazy. Um, his buddy, uh, Drunk Johnny was there and, uh, he was living up to his name and he, he played, he hadn't played champs in like two years and he played one, two, three kid, uh, versus Booker live on this hall of fame Booker live on the stream. And it was super entertaining. Um, uh, his biddy committee showed up big. You had Moonwing and, and 2Bob going off crazy there. Uh, so it's just a really good time. If you've never been to one of DJ streams, highly recommend it. I'm on uh, as many of them as I can, so most of them. It's just a really fun time to hang out. Uh, DJ's a really cool guy, and he puts on a very entertaining stream. It's, it's very different uh, from the kind of stuff I do uh, and super enjoyable. So I'd highly recommend checking it out. It's a really great time. Um... I, I did my first giveaway this week, um, which was really exciting and fun for me. Gave away a four-star bronze Kyrie, and I'll have another one coming up here soon before the end of the month. So that's kind of what's uh, going on with the with the content creators. Uh, if you haven't checked any of their channels out, go ahead and uh, check them out and give them a view and and uh, a like and all that stuff. It's, it's worth your time, I think. Uh, so the next thing we're going to get into is uh, some cool stuff going on in the community, some fun stuff. Um, uh, there's, a, there's a fantasy league. Um, it, Murdog runs it. It's Murdog's uh, WWE Champions Fantasy Football League, and they're calling it Faction War. So at the start of it, I think he invited like 10 or 12 factions to send one representative from each faction to do it um, for this year. And you can see there's uh, there's Team Slam, Haven, Wolfpack, Grim, uh, Unstoppable, Booty, 1%, and the other one's cut off there, so I'm not sure who that is. Apologies. Uh, I think it's Black Ops, maybe, since I see BLA, so it's probably Black Ops. Um, but they're in the, uh, the playoffs, and as, uh, I believe it's a two-week playoff. And uh, you can see the winner's bracket here on the right. Um, it's Whippet and Murdog, and then semifinals. It looks like it's Pro Focus from Haven and um, Dopey DJ from Wolfpack. 
And then you got your consolation games down here. So that's a really cool thing. I'm pretty sure he's going to do it again next year. Uh, so hit up Murdog uh, if you're going to want to do some faction-based fantasy stuff for football. Really neat idea. I like the fact that there's a bunch of factions in there uh, playing together. And he said they've all had a really good time doing it. So it's a really great concept, really cool idea. Uh, I like that the community is getting together to do something fun. So definitely props to him for setting that up and all those guys playing. Uh, good luck in your games. The other thing I want to talk about going on in Champs, even though it's not related to the game, a lot of us are playing Among Us. And if you're not playing, you're kind of sus. Um, Among Us is a pretty... So it's it's hard to explain, really. Uh, if you're playing it with people you don't know, uh, it's really not fun at all. But once you start playing it with people you know and you get in voice chat, it is stupid fun. Really, really fun. Um, so I'd highly recommend checking it out. I believe it's free on your phones if you want to play on your phone. Uh, on Steam if you want to play on your computer. I want to say it's like four or five bucks is all. Uh, super fun game. There's a, a server for it. Um, if you need an invite, you can you can DM me. Um, uh, 2Bob29 uh, plays a bunch. Uh, if you're on my server, just ask for an invite to it. It's a, it's a ton of fun. Um, after DJ stream on Friday, a bunch of us went to his server and got in voice there and played it and had a blast. So uh, a lot of different places where you can play Among Us, but it's really fun. Uh, again, it's one of those things where you're getting people from all factions and just having a good time uh, sussing everyone. Uh, in particular, uh, Ocho is sus. If you ever play with Ocho, you're going to want to vote for him. And then watch out for Floppy. Uh, anyway, that's a really cool thing going on in the community. It's a lot of fun. Uh, highly recommend checking that out. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to talk about is the, the chasing series. Uh, if you're chasing Orton, uh, week three is wrapped up. Um, it was, uh, it was a rough week shard-wise, which I'll, I'll get to next. But as far as the, the month-long scoring... Um, I wasn't able to do talent up, or sorry, uh, the TP event. I wasn't able to do that this week, so I missed out on a bunch of points there. Um, but I did get almost 100k for this week, so the fact that I had a big week last week still has me ahead of the pace. Um, I wasn't able to do three of the coin events. I only did two of them, so uh, the tours were pretty okay for me. Um, I kind of changed the format on the left side of the tour points is the regular points from regular tours, and then on the right is the bonus points. So I got all of the bonus points on my, Mankind, and for HBK and Bray so far, I've only gotten the um, normal and hard mode bonus points. Uh, Bray, I don't have Fiend, so no chance there. The HBK one, I can probably get those 6,000 bonus points, and I, I probably will at some point. I'm leveling up my HBK some this month, so I'm waiting for the end of the month on that. Um, I did max coin 6 and 7, uh, which was the Monday and Tuesday coin event. I plan on doing that again this week. Um, Lacey got some talent this, this week, but not a lot, so kind of fell off a little bit there. Um... Showdown, I did have uh, Eddie and Million Dollar Man for the showdown, um, and uh, so I got that. Um, the one, two, three showdown event, one, two, three kid, I got the 5,000 out of there. Um, and then from the 12 days, I believe I've gotten 3,500 from the faction um, one so far. I had a thousand in leaderboards. The daily gift of giving I'm putting in bonus because you had to pay $19.99 for that at the beginning. Um, my faction did max the Blitz. That was huge. Got $18,000 out of there. Um, $18,000 and change out of the faction month long. So those those two were pretty huge for me. And then the, the daily website was $3,150. So uh, I'm at $321,000 and change for the month. So on pace to get Orton for that $500,000. I want to keep that rolling. Um, month long definitely looks like it's going to be a lot easier than the shards. Um, the shards was really rough for me this week. I didn't get the 75 from the TP that I had the previous weeks. Um, so I had been averaging about 300 shards a week. And because I didn't get that 75, I only got 225 this week. 
I do have seven bags still to open that I haven't opened, so keep that in mind when you're seeing my total. Um, I think I got 10 from a 12 day. I got 10 shards from somewhere that I missed tracking. I, it ha I'm pretty sure is one of the 12 day solos maybe. Um, probably if it was, it was the Andre Blitz one because I ranked pretty high in that one. Um, I got the 50 from the showdown, 24 from one coin, 21 from another coin, and uh, 40 from the faction, and 80 from the Blitz. So that's where the shards came from. Uh, the, I'm actually very not optimistic I will shard recruit him, so I'm really focusing on the month long um, and staying ahead there. Um, I'm happy to get all the shards I can because TP is pretty short, so uh, I'll, I'd be happy to get him 3-star bronze and then uh, use the shards for TP. Um, either way, I want him. He's super good, so I'm fine as long as I get him one way or the other. I'm still not completely giving up on the shards because, one, I don't know what I'm going to get from my bags, and two, uh, there, you know, generally we see a lot of extra shards in the last week in these events, so... I'm still holding out hope there that there's a four-star gold uh, recruit chance for me. Um, anyway, guys, like I said at the beginning, uh, this is kind of a new format for me. I hope you all liked it. Really interested in feedback on this one. Um, if you liked it, uh, what you liked. If you didn't like something, let me know what you didn't like. Uh, this is going to be a pretty evolving, I think, weekly, uh, weekly show for me, or video for me, rather. Um... And I want to kind of get it narrowed down. Keep it around the 15 to 20 minute mark. I'll try and put timestamps in it for you guys for each of the topics. Um, again, too, if there's something going on in the community you'd like me to talk about, like the Fantasy Football League or Among Us, DM me and let me know. Um, and I'll see if I can work it into these. Uh, and I prefer to keep it mostly good, positive stuff, um, since games should be fun. And that's really the goal with playing any game is having fun. So... Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and uh, tell your friends about this one, because I definitely want to get community feedback on this one. Um, so thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate all the support, and uh, good luck out there.